Apple Watch is probably one of the best smartwatches you can buy today. If you have one and wondering how to make the most out of it, here are some of the tips and tricks for the Apple Watch. To check your time or notifications, you can always wake up your Apple Watch by raising your wrist and that will automatically wake up the screen. If you don't want to have the default behavior, which is wake up the screen when you raise your wrist, you can actually peek into your Apple Watch screen by just slowly turning the digital crown. So to set this up, open the settings app in your Apple Watch, go to general and then wake screen and there you'll have the option to enable or disable the wake screen on wrist raise or the wake screen on crown up. By default, your Apple Watch will show your notifications in the short form so that you can actually read them. But if you want to hide them for privacy, you can do so. To change your notification privacy, Open the My Watch app in your iPhone and then tap on the notifications. There you will have the option to enable disable the notification privacy. So if you turn it on, now that will hide your notifications and just give you the icon whenever you receive a notification. So if you want to clear individual notifications, you can swipe left and then tap on the clear button. But if you have a lot of notifications and want to clear everything at once, all you have to do is force touch on the notification center and then tap the clear all button to clear all the notifications at once. So to change watch faces, all you have to do is swipe right and left and that will basically give you different watch faces. To customize a watch face, all you have to do is force touch and then that will give you the option to customize where now you can basically select what sort of colors you want based on the watch face you have as well as the different complications. So anything other than the time is a complication in your Apple Watch. So you can see that I have the option to select the different complications I have in my Apple Watch face and then rotate the digital crown to select the appropriate complications I want here. So you have got some of the default complications you get with your Apple Watch and then if you have some compatible apps like for example here I have the Outlook app where I can actually use that as one of my complications for my Apple Watch face. So once you have set your desired complications then you can press the digital crown to basically come out of the customization mode and use that watch face with the selected complications. If you are using the color watch face you could also choose to display a four characters called the monogram in your watch. So if you are using the color watch face and want to set up the monogram open the my watch app in your iphone and then scroll down to the clock and then there you will have the option to set your text for the monogram now you can type as many characters you want but the first four letters is what will show up in the clock as monogram now one of the other things if you notice here is that if you swipe all the way to your left and to reach the end you will find an option to add a new watch face and that will allow you to select a template from the existing watch faces to start with and then you can customize them the way you want so maybe you want a Siri watch face with different uh, complications or maybe you just want this uh, large watch face that you want to put in your Apple watch so you can do that here now the other thing to note here as well is that you can select any photo and then choose that as your watch face so if you go to your photos app and if you have all of your photos sync and here is one of those photos and i want to make this my watch face all i have to do is force touch and then tap on the create watch face which will give me the options to have the photo face based on this photo so if i just select the photos face and now I will have the photo as my watch face. To customize this, I can force touch and tap on customize. And now I can select some of the complications and the position of the time I want in this photo. So just as you set a photo as watch face in the photos app in your Apple Watch, you can do the same with the photos app in your iPhone as well. So select the photo and then tap on the share button at the bottom left. And there at the bottom, you will have the option to create watch face. So once you tap on that, tap on the photos watch face 
and then you can customize you know where you want the time position where you want the complications and what complications you want above the time and below the time and once you are good with it tap the add button to basically add as a watch face in your apple watch so not just on your Apple Watch, but in the My Watch app, tap on Face Gallery and there you will find all of the available watch faces that you can choose and customize the way you want for your Apple Watch. So here's also a really neat way to browse all of your watch faces, you know, if you find it hard browsing it in your Apple Watch. Some watch faces also have single tap and double tap action. So in the case of Mickey Mouse watch face, if you double tap, it will read you the time allowed. It's 9.42. And if you have the Toy Story app, it will change the characters as you double tap or single tap on the watch face. There you go. So really cool things that you can do with your watch face. So I would highly recommend you to go through the different watch faces you have, customize them and make it your own. To see all of your apps in the Apple Watch, all you have to do is press the digital crown and that will take you to the app screen. Now this is the default view you get. And if you wanna change this to a different view, you can force touch this app screen and you will get the option to change to a list view from the default grid view. And once you tap on the list view, now you will see it's kind of giving you all of the apps in, in a list. Now, if you don't like this, again, force touch the app screen and change it to grid view. And that will change to this uh, wonderful grid view you have in your Apple Watch. So if you want to quickly switch between apps in your Apple Watch, so you can go back and forth between the last two apps, you just have to double press the digital crown and then that will take you to your previous app. So it's a very cool tip. I actually found this out accidentally when I was, you know, trying to browse different apps and double pressing the digital crown suddenly opened up the last app. So it's pretty handy. So just double press the digital crown and that will switch between the last two used apps in your Apple Watch. Sometimes you may want to zoom in to get better view of the contents in your Apple Watch. So you can basically set up double tap your two fingers to zoom into the content and then use the digital crown to basically navigate the screen. And again, double tap with your two fingers to come out of the zoom mode. So to set this up, open the settings app in your Apple Watch, scroll down to general and then go to accessibility and there you have zoom and you can turn this on here or turn it off so you can then zoom in using the double tap two finger gesture. You can actually remotely control your iPhone camera using your Apple Watch. So to do that, just open the camera app in your Apple Watch and that will open the camera in your iPhone. So as long as you have your iPhone in a stand or in a tripod focusing on the subject, now you will get the same camera view here in your Apple Watch as well. So you can basically take a single shot using the shutter button and if you actually force touch the camera app, you will get more options to flip the camera, turn on the flash, HDR and also the live photo mode. So it's a pretty handy app, especially if you want to use it as a remote and having your iPhone in a tripod and just take a quick shot using your Apple Watch. And yes, if you want to see the photo, you can tap on the photos and that will basically give you the photos that you just took with your Apple Watch. By default, your calendar app in Apple Watch shows the upcoming event. So if you want to change this and get a calendar view, all you have to do is just force touch on the calendar app and you'll get the option to view as a list, as a day and today, which where you have the today set as the default. So if you select the day, that will give you basically today. And then if you tap on today, that will give you a calendar view. So using this mode, you can actually now have your calendar app show you the calendar instead of upcoming events. If you have an Apple Watch dock for charging, then you can use the nightstand mode. So your Apple Watch now acts as a nightstand when placed on the dock while it's charging on its side. So to enable this, go to your settings app in the Apple Watch, tap on general and then scroll down to the nightstand mode. Here you can enable disable this nightstand mode. So here's a cool feature you can enable in your Apple Watch, which is called the time travel mode. So here what happens is if you turn back and forth the digital crown, notice how it actually goes back in time and shows you how the watch face is along with the supported complications. You can see at the bottom here, which actually 
it changes according to my time travel mode and you can also travel uh, forward in time to see some of the complications especially the watch face here you can see as i move forward the mickey mouse changes but not the complications because i don't have the data yet and then if you want to come out of this mode you can tap on the digital crown so this way you can see the future and the past data of the complications and the supported watch faces using the time travel mode now this is also pretty cool in the solar watch face as you can see it will actually go back in time and you can see the twilight day and also the sunset and sunrise in your solar watch face so it's pretty cool feature to have not that you'll be using it every day but you know if you have both you can try this time travel mode and you know get a feel of what it looked like on a specific time for that complication to enable time travel open the my watch app in your iphone scroll down and tap on the clock and there you will have the option to enable disable time travel mode in your messages app in your apple watch if you want to type a quick reply you have a lot of options coming up as default replies so you can not only edit these default replies available you can also add your own to this list of messages available here so to add or modify the default replies for your messages app in your apple watch open your my watch app in your iphone and then tap on the messages and there you will find the default reply so tap on that and that will open all of the available replies and if you scroll at the bottom you'll also find an option to add reply so if you want to change any of the you know default replies then you can basically tap there and then write your reply instead of the one that you find in that particular row and if you want to add a new one just tap on add reply and that will basically give you the option to add your reply and then that will come up as an option in the apple watch messages app so every time you remove your apple watch from your wrist and then put it on back it will actually ask for passcode so this is a default setup apple gives you with your apple watch and you would have gone through the setup to set a passcode so you can use this feature and unlock your apple watch so to control this passcode behavior open the settings app in your apple watch scroll at the bottom and tap on the passcode there you will find the option to enable disable this risk detection mode so if you don't want this you can obviously turn it off but if you want to keep it as a security feature then i would suggest you keep it on so the moment you take your apple watch from your wrist it will actually ask for password to quickly take a screenshot of your apple watch screen all you have to do is press the digital crown and the side button together and that will take a screenshot so to enable or disable the screenshot mode all you have to do is open your my watch in your iphone and then scroll down tap on general and then scroll down you will find the option to enable disable the screenshot mode for your apple watch with the apple watch you can also enable wi-fi calling now this works certainly in the apple watch series 2 and series 3 i'm not particularly sure about the apple watch series 1 so in your my watch app in your iphone scroll down to the phone and then tap on the phone option and there you'll have the wi-fi calling now this takes the wi-fi setup from your iphone so as long as you have saved your wi-fi setup in your iphone and synced to the icloud using your apple id then the apple watch should automatically connect to the known wi-fi network that you have used in your iphone and once you have this then even though if your apple watch is not connected to the iphone it will actually use the wi-fi network to send messages or receive calls it's pretty cool so you don't really need a cellular watch you can actually use the wi-fi calling feature to get those capabilities in your apple watch so whenever you want to check whether your watch is connected to your phone or the wi-fi network all you have to do is swipe up to bring up the control center and in the top left you will see the phone icon which means that this is connected to your phone 
However, for some reason, if you're disconnected from the phone, maybe your Bluetooth is off or you're just too far away from your phone. And if you have enabled the Wi-Fi calling, if you now open the control center, you will see the Wi-Fi icon at the top left. And that means that this is connected using the Wi-Fi network. And if you have the Wi-Fi calling on, then you should be able to make and receive calls and send and receive messages using the Wi-Fi calling. So Apple Watch also supports the handoff feature which means that if you have a supported app in your Apple Watch open, you can actually go to your other Apple devices. So if you open the app switcher in your iPhone or in your iPad, you'll actually find the handoff feature working for the app in your Apple Watch. So here you can see I have my calendar open my Apple Watch and it says, do I want to continue using the calendar app here in my iPhone and tap on that and that will open the calendar app in your iPhone so you can continue here instead of continuing it in your Apple Watch. So it's pretty cool. So to enable this, open your watch app in your iPhone, go to general and then you will have the option to enable or disable this handoff feature. By default, this is enabled. So if you are using a compatible app, you should see that option in your app switcher and of course you have to have it uh, on your Apple Watch and once you have that that will bring up the option to show you the handoff feature for that particular app here in your app switcher menu. So to get most out of your Apple Watch, make sure you have updated your Apple Watch to its latest version, the Watch OS 4.2, which will include all of these tips and tricks we just saw. And let me know what your favorite Apple Watch tip is as well by leaving a comment here in this video. And if you're interested in more tips and tricks videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel as well. Until next time, bye.